previously on the life of a broski. Perfect. Hello broskies, welcome back to another edition of Buy or Buy. If you're new here, I'm Erkin and this is the life of a broski where I bring you sneakers, lifestyle and more waffle than Captain Birdseye. And on this episode, I am reviewing the Nike Cortez Ultra Moi. Today's episode is a little bit different. I thought I'd switch things up. It is going to be on foot footage with me narrating and talking over the footage. When I think things are going a little bit stale, I want to shake things up. So diving straight into this sneaker, of course, the Nike Cortez was the original first Nike running shoe. And over the years, it has been a legendary streetwear and iconic sneaker. So in 2016, the Nike Cortez Ultra Moi braced us. And in my opinion, this white platinum colorway is one of the best looking, not only Cortez sneakers, but Nike sneakers to ever come out. Now, the synthetic materials on this sneaker, what makes it very unique due to the fact that it has that one piece look. There aren't that many overlays and stitching to the upper. Now, of course, this is a very narrow sneaker. Now, in terms of sizing, I would stick true to size. I could only get my hands on an eight and a half and they were a bit tight. So if I went half a size up to my normal size nine UK, they would have fit just fine. So I'd say go true to size. But if you do have wide feet, I'll advise go half a size to one size up at least. Now the Nike Cortez look is a very Marmite feel. You're either a big fan or you're not. There's not much of an in-between, but I have to say the old school Cortez looks a lot better. Now the colorways and design of the Cortez originals. I was drawn more towards the nylon uppers on the Cortez silhouettes, but the problem with that is the creasing on the sneaker. After long-term use, they look terrible. And on this sneaker, it's sort of like a molded upper. So I can see these having the same problem. And already during this on foot footage, the sneakers were already creasing and becoming misshapen. Now I know these retail for around 75 pounds and for some that's not a big deal. But for me personally, I wouldn't spend that much money on sneakers if they don't last more than five wears. I did get a discount and got them for 60 pounds. But for me, I'm always looking to get most out of my money. Now with the material on this upper, I can see it is very hard to keep clean. Now yes, you can get cleaning and protective sprays, but it's a very risky business because I do feel like once this material gets stained, it will be harder than normal to get clean. Now one of the things that really frustrated me was how much this sneaker squeaked when I was walking. Now with the rubber outsole, because it has that herringbone pattern for multi-surface traction, on a lot of surfaces, especially inside, these sneakers will squeak. Now according to Nike, the midsole features free foam densities for superior cushioning. And I have to say this sneaker was very comfortable on foot. Now it is very noticeable that this sneaker was originally designed for running. Now, of course, it doesn't compare to the new technology that we have now. But if you were to go for a casual run or jog, I wouldn't see the problem. Now, one thing to mention is at the back at the hill counter, there is that reflective panel with the Nike logo and the Nike swoosh. Now, when it comes to the breathability of this sneaker, even though it has that mesh design with the added vents, these aren't as breathable as other sneakers. And that is due to the synthetic materials on the upper. Even though it looks like mesh, it is a bit of a catfish. Now this sneaker on foot, I did get a very secure and stable feeling. Now if I weren't worried about the creasing and the misshaping of this sneaker, I could easily run in these. I wouldn't do masses amounts of vigorous running or sprinting, but for a walking shoe or a light jog, I wouldn't mind. Now retailing for 75 to 80 pounds here in the UK, I feel like this sneaker fits that price tag. It isn't on par to the high-end Air Maxes that we get, but it does have a more premium feel compared to the lower-end Nike sneakers. So broskies, are these a buy 
or a buy. Considering I did pick them up for £60 with discounts, I can't really complain. But the only thing I am worried about is how many times can I wear these without getting them misshapen or creased. Now because of the narrowness to this sneaker, putting in a sneaker shield would be totally useless. The only hope I would have is buying a sneaker tree to hopefully keep it in shape. But the narrow and unique design to this Cortez sneaker, I'm not too sure on how that would hold up. The feel on foot with this sneaker is very unique and in my opinion I do like the look and design of this sneaker but for 75 to 80 pounds you could get a few gems on sale which compared to these have a longer lifespan and do look a lot better. So I'm going to have to give these a miss broskies. Maybe if they released a colorway with different materials on the upper I would consider it. But anyways broskies let me know if you agree or or disagree comment down below if you're a fan of these or not and of course broskies as always i will be leaving affiliate links down below so if you do want to check out the latest deals and prices that would definitely help you out anyways broskies that's enough from me i hope you liked this video and as always don't forget to subscribe like comment share and of course until the next episode take care you made